geologically the feature the castle city good morning good morning, good morning. Yes. it is day three in edinburgh and today we are going to the castle and i'm so excited i know it's not a disney castle but i tried to look like belle as much as i possibly could so <laughs> it's the priority <laughs> i'm really really excited for today last night was a lot of fun and i slept well and now we're we're up we're chipper Right, Emily? Yeah. <laughs> so breakfast this morning is the same exact thing that I ate yesterday, so it's good. We like it. And um, it also weighs down the, uh, the, the, the to preserve decency. <laughs> it's the castle gates. Oh, tell the door to open up the gates. The gates. <laughs> just toured the castle of Edinburgh and it is incredible. <laughs> I feel like I keep saying the word incredible. That's probably really annoying, <laughs> but it is. It really is. There's a really big memorial going on right now and the prime minister is here. Dr. Nance got a picture of her, which is really cool. We wanted to go to the tea room and have tea, but we have a walking tour in like 30 minutes. So we didn't have enough time before it opened up. And so instead we went to the cafe and got some tea. And the view Morgan is beautiful. Got, yeah, the view up here is amazing. And I understand why they put the castle up on the top of the hill overseeing everything. I mean, I could wake up to this every morning. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> There's Aria. Now we'll probably walk around a little more before we head back for the tour. Do you, do you want to hear the best quote of tour so far? We were taking a picture and then as, as we were standing there, there was a man who was right next to us. He said, man, this place is busier than a one-legged man in a butt kicking contest. That would be pretty busy. <laughs> I don't know what that means. We'll try it. Oh. On one leg and try to kick somebody's butt. Oh. We're going to the gift shop now. We have our tea and coffee. Cheers to gifts. Cheers. Found something for my mom. I'm not going to show it on the vlog because I want it to be a surprise, but I think she's really going to like it. Dr. Nance and I were just talking about how it's like how many thousands of years of people have been here and how many different like eras have seen like this place. And it's just incredible to think about how many years and years and years of people have been here. And um, yay! Bye. <laughs> we're saying bye to the castle. So thank you, castle. Bye, castle. Bye, castle. Bye, castle. <laughs> We're going on a walking tour of the Royal Mile now. Our tour guide is lovely. We're, we're ending our time at the castle and heading onward. <laughs> Royal Mile. Spotted once again. It's a PLU tour when you find the word vocation. Yay. Back to the till again, people. We found out his name is David Hugh. He was a philosopher. That's all I got. The 
house that's not painted is actually slightly older than the one that is painted. The one that's painted is known as John Knox's house because we believe that Knox lived there for the last few months of his life. Then it became a rather disreputable house in the 19th century. It was known as the Cock and Trumpet. <laughs> Being a disgrace to her relations. As a willingly lie with the chimney sweep, as with the Lord. <laughs> There's Arthur's seat. Have you ever seen anything gooder? No. <laughs> right, so we just got back from the walking tour down the Royal Mile. It was really fun, I'm glad we did it. But it got super cold. So we came back to the hotel and we got changed. I feel like this whole trip is just me changing my outfit a billion times a day, but kept the same sweater on and then I just changed to some pants and my boots. I've got um, my nun socks on that were from Agnes of God. We're gonna go to the museum and grab a bite to eat. I'll keep you updated. We made it to the National Museum of Scotland. I wish I could like show you all how beautiful it really is in here. Um, I think our first stop is the Scottish dinosaur. They're, they're probably just regular dinosaurs. No, I think it's maybe, a Scottish Maybe they're dinosaur. specifically Scottish. Yeah, you're, you're right. You're Here's right. a Scottish moose. They're probably wearing kilts. But it's a moose wearing kilts. Oh, here it is. That's the Scottish dinosaur. That's a Scottish shark too. A Scottish camel. What, you're right, you're right. I can see the kill. Look, a right Scottish there. giraffe. A Scottish tiger way over there. So here we've got a mega sloth. There I mean, he is. Like this big. That's our friend. Look at his feet. That's what he would look like with fur. Look, Mom, I'm an architect. I did it. So we walked around quite a bit and we saw some really cool things, looked into some of the earlier history of Scotland. We also saw a exhibit that was all about diversity on the runway and it's only here for a little bit longer so that was cool. And then we had to get some food because I was going to pass out. I was so hungry and everyone was like silent while eating the food because we were all so exhausted and it felt so good to sit down. We're trying to find the gift shop. Uh, I found a scarf that my mom would love, but I can't only buy things for my mom while I'm in Europe. It's got little sheep on it. Everything here my mom would like, so she's easy to shop for. Scotland loves their dogs. This is for good old Bobby. I love Bobby. What a good boy. We're trying to find the grave of the man who inspired Voldemort. That's not him, but he's got someone's head right in there with him. Whoa. We found Bobby. There's the elephant house. Likely the birthplace yeah. of Harry Potter. It's a house of elephants. <laughs> oh. oh. Inspiration for Diagon Alley. Yep. Right inspiration there. for Diagon Alley. It's very cool. So we found the perfect gift yes, in Scotland. Here, here we have We Heart Kilts. Uh, as you can see, January is looking fine. Yep. February, beautiful. March, March, sporting that red. Uh, There's April. a horse with this one. Uh, May mountains. June, yep. very smooth. This July, one fire. oh fire. August, wow. my my personal birth month. Uh, wow. <laughs> Look at the smolder. Great. <laughs> the smolder. Oh, nice dog. tat. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Oh, a waterfall. Cute. With some Timberlands. Yes. Wow. That is, you know, what a way to top, what a way to end that. Mm -hmm. Wow. Perfect. And it comes in travel size. So we all just got Scottish marble rings. Scottish marble is supposed to t protect us from misfortune and um, something else. Increase right? our intuition. Increase intuition. Yeah. Oh, great. <laughs> this is our last night in Edinburgh. We're about to go grab some dinner. Yeah. We just did some shopping. I'm really happy with the scarf. shopping we did. You got a scarf. You got two, two rings. Yeah. I think we're going to go to the Conan Doyle, right, Ben? Yeah. Apparently it's a Sherlock Holmes themed restaurant. It's wild how much I recognize things around me now. Yeah. Like after just being here for two days, like I feel like I could very confidently, well, I don't know. I, don't know. I, <laughs> I feel like I could anywhere. navigate myself around. Maybe it not would be confidently, fine. but I could do it. Yeah. You know? Here's the Conan Doyle. Haggis. Oh, yeah. Haggis? Ben's, Ben's got, really excited. They got stovies. Let's go in. Well, scratch that. It's an hour wait. Hey, do you guys know another place to eat in Edinburgh, Scotland? <laughs> Edinburgh? Where do you live? Edinburgh. Edinburgh.
Ellensburg. <laughs> really? I'll keep you updated. An hour is like a little long. After a lot of um, searching and dispute, we found a place. <laughs> I think we found a, a good place. I don't know. We'll see. This is duck. And we've got we've got some salmon, more duck. I really want to try it. <laughs> some pizza and then some pasta. Wow. Freaking bone out of the Like 18 pounds? Aiden's kitchen? 10 out of 10 right <laughs> There was not a single piece of food left on any of our plates. The best lamb I've ever had. Yeah. Also the first. Wait, also the first. <laughs> yeah. Or did you have duck? You had duck. duck. I had duck. duck. Now we're going to go, we're gonna probably back to the nice standing food. order. Wow. We're going to go get some cheap, cheap and cheerful bites and pipes. 10 out of 10. Recommend. Eden's Kitchen. It's over <laughs> on Burr, Burr, Burr Broughton. Bro yeah. Broughton. Quote us on that. <laughs> Sam, I found a place. Sam. Sam. I found a place for you. There you go. We are at Slug and Lettuce, which is a place that my best friend Clara had talked about when I came here, um, when I came to England about a year ago. I saw one here and I said, we have to go. And it was such a good idea. There's flowers everywhere. We have this like, these drinks that are all 50% off right now. And this is the last day to be able to get them. So we got them. To Edinburgh. To Edinburgh. Yay. <laughs> We're walking back to the hotel. My phone is at like 2%. We met some people named Archie and, and Ozzy and Aaron. Aaron. They were very cool. It was our last night in Edinburgh and tomorrow at 8 a.m. we get on a coach to go to York <laughs> and we end our time in Scotland and go to England. Good night!